Hi, this is George Alger. Welcome to today's segment of Our Ventura TV. Today we're going to be speaking about the Ventura Fire Foundation. And joining us is the president of the Ventura Fire Foundation, Peter McKenzie, who is also a retired fire captain from the city of Ventura's fire department. Welcome, Peter. And what is the Ventura Fire Foundation? Well, thanks for having me, George. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here to talk about the foundation because it, it's definitely something that uh, does a lot of good in the community. For sure, it's a, we're a, a 501c3 nonprofit, but sometimes I find it's best to talk about, tell a little story to really explain what the foundation is because sometimes it gets a little confusing because there's multiple entities involved. So okay. does that work? Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. So society in general, right? We we know there's certain things that need to be done for the, you know, the good of, of the lar at large community, you know, things like, you know, fighting crime, you know, keeping our country safe and war, fires, wildfires, pan recently pandemics with, you know, medical personnel. And mo the average person doesn't necessarily want to participate and do those things themselves. So society calls on a group of people to, for lack of a better term, to go do those things that no one wants to do. Uh, in our case, you know, obviously I come from the fire service. We focus on the fire fighters and the fire service, but this same thing applies for police officers and military people and whatnot. And we ask them to do those things. And the people who do those things willingly raise their hand and are happy to do them. And they serve with distinction and honor and all those things. But after doing those things year in, year out, I mean, the average career in the fire service is 30 years, they start to take a toll. And we ask them to do really terrible things that we don't want to do, like, you know, see dead people or fight wars overseas or chase down, you know, criminals. And that is, causes a problem long term over, you know, a period of time. And when you are an active member of the, and I obviously ours is the fire department, when you're a member of the fire department, there's coping mechanisms in place, namely in the form of you're living with the guys and girls who are doing the exact same thing you do. You get to talk about it. They completely understand you. You eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner with them. So it's, it's easier to cope. But there are certain people that over time, it gets to be too much. Uh, I know from personal experience, I, after a while, I never wanted to see a dead person again. Like it was something I wasn't interested in maybe 10, 15 years into my career. So for those people that get into a spot where they don't know what to do or it's getting too much, that's what the foundation is there for. And more important, I mean, another part of this is once the firefighters leave the fire department, they retire that's when we see a, a, a marked increase in mental health issues. And there, especially when you leave your employer, when you retire, there's a gap in, I don't want to say a gap in care because there are, you know, medical insurance does cover certain things, but our, our guys and girls get into trouble occasionally. And I mean, the, the rates of suicide are, are far higher than the general population. And that's what the foundation is there for. We're there to get the backs of the men and women in the fire service, not just in the city of Ventura, really throughout the state of California, because it, it's definitely a close group, you know, a brotherhood it's referred to a lot. And that is why we're here, because one, we understand our, our entire board is compromised of current and retired firefighters and their families. And that's our main mission is to take care of take care of the firefighters. And I'll say further, it's not just the firefighters because the firefighters families really suffer just as much as the firefighters. I mean, you talk to any wife or spouse, it doesn't have to be a wife because there's plenty of women in the fire service. And they ask their firefighter, hey, how was your night? Because they know that if that night was bad, that it's not going to be the best day it could possibly be, which is not that big of a deal once in a while. But when you do that, day every shift for 30 years it takes a toll and that's what the foundation is there for amongst other things we do do other charitable things in the community but our primary mission is to take care of, of the firefighters when they have a time of need mainly related to these type of issues that we're talking about okay so if i was to restate that in, his, in just a few words 
would we be able to say that um, the Ventura Fire Department or Fire Foundation is um, helping firefighters and their families with mental health issues? Yeah, I think broad, broadly our mission is to to take care of the firefighters and their and their families during their times of needs because it's not always mental health. Mental health is definitely, I think, the primary um, thing that we are trying to help with. But it could, I mean, there's a lot of fire, the fire service has higher instances of cancer. There's there's a, t a lot of other things that come along with being, you know, in the fire service. They're exposed to chronic sleep deprivation, you know, chronic exposure to carcinogens um, are some of the other things. But essentially, we are there to take care of, of our people when, when they have needs. All right, good. Now, how do you do that? So we have different initiatives when it comes to mental health uh, professionals that we bring in. Uh, we have the ability to send the firefighters away to actual facilities when needed. Um, it could be as simple as if we have someone who's fighting cancer that we help get the family where they need to go and take care of some of those logistical things that you know, when you're in a crisis, you don't want to think about. So it could be, you know, something major to the small things that that make it better as well. But really, I mean, and, and a lot of the work that we do, unfortunately, is very expensive. And we are a, you know, separate entity of the fire department. We don't, you know, we, there is no budget line item for the, the fire foundation and any of the fire department budgets. So we rely solely on donations. And we aren't able to fulfill our mission if we're not supported by the community at large. An interesting fact, the, the number one donor that we have are the actual firefighters themselves because, you know, by the nature of the profession, the, it's all about taking care of the community. So when we have the opportunity to take care of our own in a meaningful way, I'm proud of the of the men and women of the fire department because they open up their checkbooks on a recurring basis, monthly, to help their brothers and sisters. Now, it's not enough by any means, and we still rely on on donors in the community. But um, that's kind of how how we do it and how we take care of ourselves. Did that did that answer your question? Yeah, I'm wondering if you might be able to briefly recommend a tip for friends, family of firefighters who are going through some kind of stressful situation? Yeah, well, one, I would say, you know, don't treat them different or like they're, you know, have the plague or illness or something. I mean, definitely keep the lines of communication open and ask them how they're doing and uh, check in with them frequently and not maybe just them, but talk to their spouses, talk to their kids. I know my, I mean, it, I just speak from personal experience. I have three daughters and it was very clear how you know how, what kind of day dad had at the fire service you know the next day and if you after I retired and we started focus the fire service in general started fo focusing more on the mental health of the firefighters it was like light bulbs were going off in my head like oh my I didn't realize that I didn't realize I was kind of a nightmare sometimes to my family when I had xyz happening at work and really, I wish I would have known that stuff before. And anyway, not to go off on a tangent on you, but um, I would say just keeping the lines of communication open, talking to the family. And then if there, you know, if there's anything that looks off encouraging, either you can absolutely reach out to our organization because we have access to all the resources that are available. And there are a lot of resources available. There's a lot of organizations that focus on supporting first responders, maybe not just the fire service, but like I said, law enforcement, military and whatnot. It's just a matter of getting access to the services that are out there and then having a, a mechanism to fund them. Very good. Peter, we're out of time. I wonder if you can sneak in the website for our viewers to find more information. Yeah, absolutely. It's VenturaFireFoundation.org spelled out. Uh, take a look at our website. If, if you feel move to support our cause we would be very grateful of any donations uh, of any kind or of any amount that you're you're willing to do we will definitely put the money to good work peter thank you very much we're going to wrap up here my pleasure this is george alger signing off for this segment of our ventura tv until i meet again